In the effervescent glow of Hollywood's limelight, where the stars are born and legends are made, lies the story of Tom Selleck, a name synonymous with rugged charm and an unwavering sense of justice, thanks to his iconic roles. Yet, behind the camera's flattering gaze and beyond the scripts that brought characters like Thomas Magnum and Jesse Stone to life, there exists a narrative less told. This is a glimpse into that unseen side, a tale not of a character, but of the man himself, narrated with a candidness only he could provide. The journey begins in Detroit, Michigan on a cold winter's day in 1945. I was born amidst the whirlwind of the post-war era, Tom would recount, a time of hope, but also of uncertainty. My parents, Martha Selleck, a housewife, and Robert Selleck, a businessman and executive, were my first audience and perhaps the most critical I would ever face. The laughter in his voice when he shares this piece of history reveals a fondness for humble beginnings, a theme that recurs throughout his life. The narrative soon shifts to the vibrant streets of Los Angeles, where the young Selleck family relocated in pursuit of the American dream. It was in the bustling corridors of Grant High School where I first tasted the seduction of performance, Tom recalls. I was a basketball player, not an actor. Yet, the roar of the crowd, the rush of adrenaline, it wasn't so different from what I'd later experience on stage and screen. It was here, in the juxtaposition of sports and drama, that Tom began to forge the discipline and resilience that would define both his career and his character. Despite the allure of acting, Tom's journey was not a straight path to stardom. I attended Los Angeles Valley College, later transferring to the University of Southern California on a basketball scholarship, he explains. But it was the drama coach at USC who saw something in me, something I hadn't yet seen in myself. This pivotal moment, when opportunity met talent, was just the beginning of a lifelong passion. Yet Tom's narrative is quick to divert from the cliché of overnight success stories. I served in the National Guard, he notes, a testament to his sense of duty and a period that taught him invaluable lessons in leadership and perseverance. The early years of Tom's acting career were marked by struggle, a testament to the industry's capricious nature. I did commercials, small TV roles, anything to get my foot in the door, but it was a different time, a slower climb, he reflects. It was during these formative years that Tom developed a profound respect for the craft of acting, a reverence that would inform his approach to every role, no matter how small or fleeting. It was not until the role of Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. that Tom Selleck became a household name. Magnum wasn't just a role. It was a chance to redefine the private investigator genre, he says with a hint of pride. But with fame came a new set of challenges, ones I wasn't quite prepared for. The constant scrutiny, the invasion of privacy, and the pressure to conform to an image crafted by the media were battles fought away from the public eye. Yet. It's in the telling of these struggles that the true essence of Tom Selleck emerges. Beyond the mustache, the Hawaiian shirts, and the Ferrari, there lies a man of depth, driven by a love for his craft and a commitment to integrity. Success in Hollywood is fleeting, Tom muses, but the relationships you build, the moments of genuine connection, those are the true measures of a life well lived. As the dust settled on the newfound fame that Magnum P.I. brought, Tom Selleck found himself at a crossroads, grappling with the double-edged sword of success. The accolades and adoration, while gratifying, also ushered in a wave of challenges that tested his resolve and his commitment to his craft. This chapter delves into Tom's search for balance amidst the chaos of celebrity, exploring the inner workings of a man determined to remain true to himself. The height of Tom's career in the 1980s was marked by a relentless work schedule, one that left little room for anything beyond the set. I remember the days blending into one another, each script becoming a continuation of the last, Tom recalls. It was exhilarating, but it was also exhausting. There was a part of me that yearned for something more, something beyond the character of Thomas Magnum. This longing for depth and substance would become a driving force in Tom's journey, pushing him to explore roles that challenged both his acting prowess and his personal philosophy. Despite the fame, 
Tom remained deeply rooted in his values, a trait he attributes to his upbringing. My father taught me the importance of integrity, of doing the right thing even when no one is watching, he shares. This principle guided Tom through the tempest of Hollywood, where the pressure to conform and compromise is often overwhelming. It was during this time that Tom made a decision that would surprise many. He stepped back from Magnum P.I. at the height of its popularity to pursue a passion project, a move that many in the industry saw as career suicide. The project was Quigley Down Under, a film that transported Tom from the beaches of Hawaii to the rugged landscapes of Australia. Quigley was more than just a film to me, Tom reflects. It was a chance to delve into a character with layers, a man with principles and a code. The film, though not a blockbuster by Hollywood standards, was a critical success and remains a fan favorite, a testament to Tom's ability to bring depth and nuance to his roles. Beyond his professional pursuits, Tom was on a personal quest to find balance in his life. The birth of his daughter Hannah marked a turning point, shifting his priorities and deepening his understanding of love and responsibility. Becoming a father was the most profound change in my life, he says with unmistakable warmth. It made me reevaluate my choices, my career, and the legacy I wanted to leave behind. This introspection led Tom to take more selective roles, choosing projects that resonated with him on a personal level and allowed him to spend more time with his family. The search for balance also reignited Tom's love for the outdoors, a passion that offered solace from the spotlight. He found peace in the rhythm of ranch life where the simplicity of nature and the responsibility of land stewardship provided a stark contrast to the complexities of Hollywood. There's a clarity that comes with being close to the land, Tom muses. It's grounding, a reminder of what's truly important. As the 1990s dawned, Tom Selleck found himself at yet another pivotal moment in his career and personal life. This chapter delves into how Tom navigated the shifting landscapes of both Hollywood and his own evolving aspirations demonstrating the resilience and adaptability that have come to define him. The entertainment industry was undergoing significant changes, with television and cinema expanding in new and unpredictable directions. Tom, ever the observer, recognized that the roles he had once thrived in were evolving. There was a palpable shift in the types of stories being told, the characters that resonated with audiences, he notes. It was a time of reflection for me a period to reassess and realign my career with my passions. This introspection led Tom to take on roles that were not just commercially viable, but personally meaningful. One such role was in In and Out, a film that explored themes of sexuality and societal norms, a departure from the action-oriented characters Tom was known for. It was a project that challenged not just my acting skills, but my understanding of the world, Tom admits. The film was a conversation starter, and I was proud to be a part of that conversation. This willingness to step outside his comfort zone and engage with complex issues marked a new chapter in Tom's career, one where he used his platform to contribute to broader societal dialogues. Meanwhile, Tom's personal life was flourishing. His marriage to Jilly Mack and the joy of raising their daughter provided a stable foundation amidst the unpredictability of his professional life. Tom credits his family with giving him the strength to explore new opportunities, stating, My family is my anchor, the constant in a sea of change. They inspire me to be better, to chase dreams I might otherwise have left unexplored. This era also saw Tom return to television, most notably in Jesse Stone, a series of made-for-TV movies based on Robert B. Parker's novels. Tom's portrayal of the eponymous character, a police chief grappling with his demons, was met with critical acclaim. Jesse Stone was a role that felt like coming home, Tom says. There was a complexity to Jesse, a depth that mirrored my own journey. The series allowed Tom to explore themes of redemption, loneliness, and the search for justice, resonating with viewers and critics alike. In addition to his acting career, Tom dedicated himself to philanthropic efforts, particularly in preserving history and supporting veterans. His work with the National Rifle Association and other organizations reflected his commitment to principles he holds dear. It's important to me that my actions off-screen align with my values, Tom states. 
Whether it's advocating for veterans' rights or preserving our heritage, I believe in giving back. As the new millennium unfolded, Tom Selleck found himself in a stage of his career where reflection became as integral as action. This chapter explores the legacy Tom has built, not just through his memorable roles, but through the wisdom he's gleaned from decades in the spotlight. It's a period marked by introspection, giving back, and a continued passion for storytelling, offering a deeper understanding of the man behind the iconic characters. The transition into the 2000s saw Tom taking stock of his career and the impact he hoped to leave behind. I've played many roles, Tom muses, but the most challenging role has always been that of being true to myself. This period was less about seeking new projects and more about choosing work that resonated with his core values and offered something meaningful to his audience. One such project was Blue Bloods, a television series that premiered in 2010, casting Tom as Frank Reagan, the patriarch of a multi-generational family of cops. This role allowed Tom to explore themes of family, duty, and moral complexity, mirroring his own values. Frank Reagan is a character that demands integrity, a trait I've strived to uphold in my own life, Tom explains. The success of Blue Bloods not only underscored Tom's enduring appeal, but also his ability to connect with a new generation of viewers. Away from the camera, Tom dedicated himself to various philanthropic causes, especially those focused on veterans and children. His work extended beyond financial support, involving active participation and advocacy. It's about leveraging whatever platform I have to shine a light on issues that matter, Tom asserts. His commitment to these causes reflects a broader sense of responsibility, a belief in using one's influence for the greater good. Reflection also brought Tom back to his roots, prompting visits to his alma mater and other institutions where he shared his experiences and insights with aspiring actors. There's a full circle moment in returning to where you began, in sharing the lessons you've learned, he notes. Through these interactions, Tom aimed to inspire the next generation, emphasizing the importance of perseverance, integrity, and the pursuit of passion. Tom's personal life, especially his role as a father and husband, remained his bedrock, grounding him in what he considers his greatest achievement. At the end of the day, it's not the awards or accolades that define you, but the love and respect of your family. Tom states with conviction. This emphasis on family has not only shaped his choices, but has also been a source of his greatest joys and challenges. In the latter part of his career, Tom Selleck embraced a renaissance, a rebirth that saw him exploring diverse interests and roles while reflecting on the vast tapestry of experiences that had colored his life. This chapter delves into Tom's ventures beyond acting, his philosophical musings on life and legacy, and how he continued to impact the world around him through varied channels of creativity and service. Tom's interest in history and preservation took on new dimensions. He became more involved in documentary projects, lending his voice and expertise to films that delved into America's past, highlighting moments and figures that shaped the nation. History tells us where we've come from, and in understanding that, we can better navigate where we're going," Tom remarked. His involvement went beyond mere narration, often participating in the research and production, ensuring the stories were told with accuracy and reverence. His ranch, a sanctuary of sorts, became a place of innovation and sustainability. Tom worked on conservation projects, focusing on water preservation and land management, making the Selleck Ranch a model of environmental stewardship. The land has given me so much, it's only right I give back to it," Tom explained. This commitment to the environment reflected a broader ethos of responsibility and care that defined much of his life's later works. In the realm of art, Tom pursued painting, a hobby he'd kept private for years. His works, primarily landscapes and portraits, were imbued with the same depth and emotion that characterized his acting roles. Painting is another form of storytelling he said, one that's deeply personal but universally understood. Tom's art became another avenue for him to connect with others, offering insights into his perspective and passions. Philanthropy continued to play a significant role in Tom's life. He focused on educational programs, 
particularly those aimed at young people in underserved communities. By establishing scholarships and funding arts education, Tom aimed to provide opportunities for creativity and growth. Every child deserves a chance to explore their potential, he often said, highlighting his belief in the transformative power of education. Reflections on fame, family, and the future became more frequent in Tom's conversations and interviews. He spoke of the transient nature of celebrity, the enduring importance of personal relationships, and the legacy he hoped to leave. Fame is fleeting, but the love you give and receive, the difference you make in people's lives, that's eternal, Tom mused. This philosophical outlook guided him through the challenges of aging in an industry obsessed with youth, allowing him to approach each new phase of life with grace and optimism. Tom's renaissance was not a rejection of his past, but an embracing of the future, a testament to his enduring curiosity and vitality. Whether through acting, environmental advocacy, art, or philanthropy, he remained a figure of inspiration, embodying the ideals of a life well lived. As this chapter closes, the story of Tom Selleck stands as a narrative of constant evolution, a reminder that growth and change are not only possible at any age but are essential to the human experience. In the twilight years of his illustrious career, Tom Selleck naturally transitioned into the role of a mentor, a beacon for the next generation of actors and filmmakers. This chapter unfolds the narrative of a seasoned artist who, having navigated the tumultuous waves of Hollywood with integrity and grace, now seeks to guide others through its challenges. It's a story of legacy, not just through the characters Tom portrayed, but in the wisdom he imparts. Tom's approach to mentorship was shaped by his own experiences, the highs and lows of a career that spanned decades. I've seen a lot, learned a lot, and if my experiences can help someone else, then all the better, Tom would often say. He engaged with young actors on sets, in acting workshops, and through guest lectures at universities, sharing insights on the craft of acting, the importance of resilience, and the ethical dilemmas one might face in the industry. His advice was not limited to the technical aspects of acting, but delved into the ethos of being an artist in the modern world. Acting is not just about portraying a character convincingly on screen, Tom counseled. It's about understanding the human condition, about empathy, and ultimately about integrity. How you conduct yourself off screen is as important as your performance on it. These words echoed through the halls of acting schools and studios, inspiring many to not only pursue excellence in their craft, but to do so with honor. Beyond one on one mentorship, Tom's philanthropic efforts took on a more educational slant. He established scholarships and funded initiatives aimed at nurturing talent in underprivileged communities believing that access to the arts should not be limited by one's background. Talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not, he remarked, underscoring his commitment to leveling the playing field for aspiring artists. Tom also became a prolific writer, authoring books that blended personal anecdotes with advice for both actors and individuals navigating the complexities of life. His writings, rich with the wisdom of years, became a source of guidance for many outside the entertainment industry, reflecting his broad influence. Perhaps the most significant aspect of Tom's mentorship was his humility and openness. Despite his vast experience, he approached every interaction as a learning opportunity, a chance to grow and understand new perspectives. I learn as much from these young artists as they do from me, Tom admitted, highlighting his belief in the mutual benefits of mentorship. As the curtain begins to draw on a career that has spanned over half a century, Tom Selleck contemplates his final act, not as a conclusion, but as a culmination of a lifetime's work and passion. This chapter isn't about endings. Rather, it's a celebration of a journey that has been rich with achievements, learning, and most importantly, giving back. Tom, ever the storyteller, looks at this phase of his life as an opportunity to solidify his legacy ensure that the lessons learned are shared and that the causes close to his heart are supported long into the future. In the quiet of his ranch, amidst the serenity that has often provided him solace from the storm of celebrity, Tom reflects on what this final act means. It's about gratitude, he says, for the countless opportunities, 
the friendships formed, the challenges overcome, and the chance to do what I love for so many years. His voice carries a sense of peace, a contentment that comes from knowing he has lived his life fully and authentically. Tom's focus shifts towards solidifying his philanthropic efforts. He becomes more involved in the charities and causes he supported, setting up endowments and trusts to ensure their longevity. Education, veterans affairs, and conservation, areas that have always been close to his heart, become the primary beneficiaries of his generosity. It's not about leaving a name behind, Tom explains, but about making a difference, about leaving the world a little better than I found it. The mentorship role Tom has cherished continues to evolve. He partners with film schools and acting workshops to establish programs that not only teach the craft of acting, but also the ethics of the industry. These programs emphasize integrity, resilience, and empathy, ensuring that Tom's values are imparted to the next generation. The greatest legacy any of us can leave is the knowledge and wisdom we pass on, Tom believes. In his personal life, Tom spends more time with family, cherishing the moments that were often sacrificed on the altar of career demands. His relationships with his children and grandchildren become a source of joy and reflection. Family is the true measure of success, he says, emphasizing the lessons and love he hopes to pass down to them. Finally, Tom decides to document his journey, not for the sake of posterity, but as a testament to the life lessons that have shaped him. This memoir, however, is not a typical celebrity autobiography. It's an introspective look at the moments both big and small that have defined him. Through stories of triumph and failure, love and loss, Tom offers an unvarnished look at his life, hoping to inspire others to pursue their passions, face their fears, and live with integrity. As the sun sets on the horizon, casting long shadows and bathing the world in a golden hue, Tom Selleck sits on the porch of his ranch, reflecting on the chapters of his life that have unfolded like scenes from a well-crafted movie. This moment of tranquility is more than a pause. It's a bridge to the eighth chapter of his journey, where reflection and foresight converge, revealing the essence of a man who has lived not just under the spotlight, but beyond it. In this chapter, Tom's reflections are introspective, delving into the realms of what it means to age gracefully within an industry that often idolizes youth. There's a beauty in aging. Tom muses, his voice tinged with the wisdom of experience. Each wrinkle, each gray hair, tells a story, a testament to the life lived, the battles fought, and the love shared. His acceptance of aging is not resignation, but a celebration of a life well-lived, an understanding that the roles he now chooses are as much about imparting wisdom as they are about entertainment. Tom's thoughts often wander to the legacy of the characters he's portrayed, how they've become part of the cultural fabric, influencing perceptions and inspiring countless individuals. Characters like Thomas Magnum and Frank Reagan weren't just roles to me. They were opportunities to explore the human condition, to delve into the complexities of morality, duty, and honor, he explains. These characters with their flaws and virtues have left an indelible mark, serving as a mirror to society's evolving values and challenges. The tranquility of the ranch, with its sprawling landscapes and the simple rhythm of nature, offers Tom a canvas to paint his thoughts on the importance of environmental stewardship. His commitment to conservation is not just about preserving beauty, but about ensuring a future where nature and humanity can coexist harmoniously. We're custodians of this planet, he asserts, and it's our duty to leave it better than we found it, not just for our children, but for all the generations to come. In this reflective state, Tom also ponders the future of storytelling, how technology and new media are shaping narratives and the way we consume them. While he embraces innovation, he also emphasizes the timeless nature of storytelling. Stories have the power to connect us, to transcend time and space. No matter the medium, it's the story's heart, its ability to evoke emotion and provoke thought that truly matters, he notes. His curiosity about the evolving landscape of entertainment is matched by his optimism for the new voices and stories that will emerge. As the day gives way to night, and the stars begin to dot the sky, 
Tom Selleck's reflections culminate in a profound appreciation for the moments of connection with family, friends, colleagues, and even strangers who've shared a word of kindness. It's these connections that enrich our lives, that give it meaning beyond the accolades and achievements, he says, his gaze fixed on the twinkling constellations that remind him of the vastness of the universe and the shared humanity that binds us all. In this penultimate chapter of Tom Selleck's journey, the focus shifts from reflection to action, embodying the role of a torchbearer for the values and traditions he holds dear. This period is marked by Tom's conscious effort to ensure that the principles of integrity, dedication, and empathy that have guided his life and career serve as a beacon for future generations. Tom's role as a mentor evolves into that of an advocate for the arts and humanities, recognizing their vital importance in fostering critical thinking, empathy, and understanding in society. In a world increasingly driven by technology and efficiency, we must not lose sight of what makes us fundamentally human, Tom argues. He champions arts education, supporting programs that make arts accessible to all, advocating for the idea that creativity is not a luxury, but a necessity for a healthy, vibrant society. His advocacy extends to the preservation of history and culture, areas where Tom believes much can be learned and applied to contemporary challenges. He collaborates with historians, educators, and filmmakers on projects that bring pivotal moments and figures from history to life, ensuring their lessons are not forgotten. History is not just about the past. It's a lens through which we can understand our present and shape our future, he often says, emphasizing the continuity and connection between generations. Tom also takes on the role of an environmental steward, deepening his commitment to conservation efforts. His work in this area becomes more strategic, focusing on initiatives that have a lasting impact, such as land conservation, water management, and sustainable farming practices on his ranch. He shares his journey and learnings through various platforms, hoping to inspire others to take action. Each of us has a role to play in protecting our planet. It starts with awareness and is sustained by action, Tom reflects highlighting the power of individual and collective efforts. In his personal life, Tom cultivates a space where family, friends, and even strangers can come together to share stories, ideas, and laughter. His home is a hub of warmth and wisdom, where the value of connection is lived and celebrated. Life's most profound joys come from the relationships we nurture, he shares, underscoring the theme of connection that has been a constant in his life. As we reach the final chapter in the saga of Tom Selleck's illustrious journey, it becomes clear that this narrative is more than just a recounting of a life lived in the limelight. It's a mosaic of moments, values, and lessons that have transcended the boundaries of Tom's personal and professional life, embedding themselves in the hearts and minds of those he has touched. This chapter is not an end, but an epilogue of an epic, a closing note that resonates with the promise of continuity and the enduring legacy of a man who has lived with purpose and passion. Tom's reflections on his career and life reveal a deep sense of gratitude and a recognition of the transient nature of fame and success. What remains at the end of the day, Tom muses, is not the roles I've played or the accolades I've received, but the difference I've made, however small, in the lives of others. This humility and acknowledgement of the collective journey of humanity underscore the essence of Tom's character and the principles he has lived by. As Tom looks to the future, his focus turns to solidifying his legacy, not through monuments or memorials, but through the continuation of the work he believes in. The scholarships, environmental projects, and mentorship programs he has initiated or supported are his way of ensuring that the values he holds dear are carried forward. Legacy is about planting seeds in a garden you never get to see, he reflects, paraphrasing a sentiment that captures his hope for a future shaped by the lessons of the past and the actions of the present. In his personal life, Tom cherishes the quiet moments with family and friends, the laughter and stories shared around the dinner table, and the quiet reflections in the serenity of nature. These moments, though simple, are imbued with the richness of a life fully lived, a life that has known both the glare of the spotlight and the glow of the sunset. 
Tom's message to the next generation is one of hope and encouragement. Dream big, work hard, and never lose sight of what truly matters, he advises. He emphasizes the importance of integrity, kindness, and perseverance, qualities that have been the bedrock of his own journey. Tom's story is a testament to the power of living authentically, embracing one's passions, and making a positive impact on the world. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden light that seems to illuminate the very essence of Tom's journey, it's clear that this epilogue is but a pause, a moment to reflect before the story continues in the lives and works of those he has inspired. Tom Selleck's epic may have reached its narrative conclusion, but the legacy of his character, his contributions, and his convictions live on, echoing through the corridors of time and inspiring countless others to write their own stories of purpose, passion, and perseverance. In this envisioned chapter, Tom Selleck's legacy becomes a living entity, evolving and adapting in the hands of those he has inspired. It's a narrative of potential, painted on the canvas of tomorrow by the individuals and communities touched by Tom's values, his art, and his humanity. The Next Generation of Storytellers Emerging filmmakers and actors, nurtured by the scholarships Tom established and mentored through his programs, begin to make their mark in the industry. They bring with them a commitment to storytelling that transcends entertainment, aiming to spark dialogues, challenge perceptions, and build bridges. Their work, diverse in genre and form, carries the imprint of Tom's influence. Stories told with integrity, characters crafted with depth, and narratives that seek to understand the human condition. Environmental Stewardship The conservation efforts that Tom championed continue to flourish, with his ranch becoming a model for sustainable practices and a center for education on environmental stewardship. Schools, communities, and other celebrities take inspiration from his work, initiating their own projects aimed at preserving natural habitats and promoting biodiversity. Tom's vision of a harmonious relationship between humanity and nature gains momentum, contributing to a global movement toward environmental consciousness. A culture of giving back Tom's philanthropic endeavors inspire a culture of generosity and service, encouraging individuals from all walks of life to contribute to their communities. The causes he supported, veterans' welfare, children's education, and the arts, see an influx of support, not just in terms of funding but in volunteerism and advocacy. Tom's belief in making a difference through action catalyzes a wave of community-driven initiatives, transforming lives and strengthening the social fabric. The legacy continues. In the world of this eleventh chapter, Tom Selleck's legacy is not encapsulated in awards or filmographies, but in the impact of his work and values on the world. As new challenges arise and society evolves, the principles he stood for, integrity, empathy, and perseverance, remain timeless, guiding lights for navigating the complexities of the human experience. This chapter, then, is not written in the past tense but is continuously unfolding, a narrative of what can be achieved when one person's journey ignites the potential in others. It's a testament to the idea that while stories may end, their influence is boundless, echoing through generations and shaping the world in ways both seen and unseen. In this spirit, the story of Tom Selleck becomes a shared narrative, one that invites each of us to reflect on our own chapters, the legacy we wish to build, and the impact we hope to have. It's a call to action, reminding us that life's most enduring stories are those crafted not just by the roles we play, but by the lives we touch and the world we leave behind. In this conceptual chapter, the story extends beyond individual legacies to explore the collective impact of shared narratives, ideas, and the enduring cycle of inspiration that flows through generations. It's an exploration of how each person, inspired by those who came before, contributes to a never-ending story that transcends time and space. The Continuum of Inspiration The chapter opens with a reflection on how inspiration is both received and given, creating an infinite loop. The values and deeds of one individual ripple through society, touching lives in unforeseen ways, sparking new ideas, movements, and innovations. This continuum of inspiration is illustrated through vignettes of individuals across various fields, arts, sciences, activism, 
each tracing a line of influence back to a moment, a person, or a story that moved them, indirectly linked to Tom's own influence. Interconnected Narratives As these new voices emerge, they weave their own narratives into the fabric of society, enriching it with diverse perspectives and solutions to contemporary challenges. This interconnectedness of stories highlights the collective journey of humanity, where every act of kindness, every creative endeavor, and every moment of bravery contributes to the greater narrative of human progress. The concept of six degrees of inspiration is introduced, demonstrating how the impact of one life can, directly or indirectly, touch almost every other. The Role of Art and Storytelling The chapter delves deeper into the role of art and storytelling in shaping society, serving as both mirror and map. Through stories, whether they be on screen, in books, or through other mediums, society reflects on its past, understands its present, and imagines its future. The narrative pays homage to storytellers of all kinds, including Tom, whose contributions offer not just entertainment, but insights into the human spirit, fostering empathy, understanding, and connection across divides. The Legacy of Values Focusing on the transmission of values, the chapter posits that the true measure of one's legacy lies in the virtues they exemplify and pass on. It's in the everyday actions, the choices made in the face of adversity, and the commitment to principles that the essence of a person's impact is found. This segment encourages readers to consider the values they wish to embody and the legacy they aim to create, emphasizing that every individual has the power to influence the world in meaningful ways. The Infinite Echo Concluding, the chapter returns to the metaphor of the echo, a sound that, once made, travels endlessly, reflecting off surfaces, evolving but never ceasing. Similarly, the influence of a life well lived is infinite echoing through the ages in ways seen and unseen, known and unknown. This infinite echo is a call to action for each person to live consciously, to contribute to the chorus of humanity, and to be part of the endless cycle of inspiration that shapes our world. In this exploration, we consider the ethereal aspects of legacy, the thoughts, intentions, and energies that, though invisible, shape the course of human history. This chapter is an odyssey into the unseen forces that guide our collective journey, inspired by the lives of individuals like Tom Selleck, whose actions ripple through time, touching souls in ways that transcend the physical. The Alchemy of Influence We begin with the concept of influence as a form of alchemy, a mysterious process that transforms societies by infusing them with new ideas, ideals, and aspirations. This alchemy is not confined to the known impacts of visible actions, but extends into the realm of the unseen, where thoughts, prayers, and dreams contribute to the collective destiny of humanity. The narrative posits that every thought of kindness or intention of goodwill, much like the roles and deeds of Tom Selleck, sends vibrations into the world, altering its course in subtle but significant ways. The Tapestry of Human Connection the chapter weaves into the narrative the intricate tapestry of human connection, a web of interactions that binds the destiny of one soul to another. This tapestry, enriched by acts of compassion and creativity, forms a living archive of humanity's highest aspirations. Through the metaphor of an ever-expanding tapestry, readers are invited to consider their own contributions to this collective work of art, each thread representing a choice, a moment of courage, or a gesture of love. Echoes in the collective consciousness. Exploring further, the narrative introduces the idea of the collective consciousness, a vast shared repository of human experience and wisdom. The legacies of those who've made an indelible mark on society like Tom are depicted as echoes in this collective consciousness, influencing current and future generations in ways beyond our comprehension. This segment illuminates how the values embodied by influential figures continue to shape societal norms, ethical frameworks, and collective aspirations. The Spiritual Dimension of Legacy Delving into the spiritual dimension, 
chapter 13 contemplates the notion that our spiritual contributions, our efforts to cultivate inner peace, spread hope, and live with integrity, constitute a significant part of our legacy. This spiritual legacy, though invisible, is perhaps the most potent force we leave behind, capable of inspiring transformation and enlightenment across generations. The Infinite Journey Concluding, the chapter embraces the concept of life as an infinite journey, where each soul is both student and teacher, perpetually evolving through the experiences and lessons of existence. In this view, legacy is not a static monument, but a living stream that flows into the ocean of collective human endeavor, nourishing and shaping the landscape of our shared reality. In this culminating chapter, we embark on a transcendent journey that elevates the narrative beyond the confines of individual lives and legacies, weaving together the threads of existence into a symphony of cosmic proportions. Chapter 14 is a meditation on the interconnectedness of all things, the timeless dance of energy and consciousness that binds the universe in harmony. A symphony unfolds. The chapter opens with an evocation of the universe as a symphony, each celestial body a note in the cosmic composition, resonating with the rhythms of creation. From the birth of stars to the whisper of galaxies, the symphony unfolds across the vast expanse of space and time, a testament to the enduring beauty and wonder of existence. The Melody of Souls As the narrative delves deeper, it shifts focus to the melody of souls, the individual expressions of consciousness that add depth and texture to the universal symphony. Every life, every experience is a unique note in the grand orchestration of existence, contributing its own resonance to the cosmic chorus. Within this framework, the story of Tom Selleck, like countless others, becomes a melodic thread woven into the fabric of eternity. Harmonies of Connection Exploring further, the chapter celebrates the harmonies of connection that bind souls together across the vast expanse of time and space. It contemplates the idea that every encounter, Every relationship is a chance for souls to harmonize, to resonate with one another in ways that transcend the limitations of physical form. Through this lens, the influence of individuals like Tom Selleck extends far beyond the boundaries of their earthly existence, continuing to reverberate in the hearts and minds of all who are touched by their presence. Conductor's Baton In a symbolic gesture, the narrative presents the idea of the universe itself as the conductor of this eternal symphony, guiding the flow of energy and consciousness with a wisdom beyond comprehension. Within this cosmic orchestration, every soul has a part to play, every note a purpose, contributing to the unfolding of creation in ways both seen and unseen, the crescendo of unity. As the chapter reaches its crescendo, it evokes the image of unity, a transcendent state where individual notes merge into a harmonious whole, dissolving the boundaries between self and other, past and future. In this state of oneness, the symphony of existence reaches its apex, resounding with the eternal song of love, compassion, and divine grace. A final note. In a final poignant note, the narrative acknowledges that while individual lives may come to an end, the symphony of existence continues unabated, its melodies echoing through the corridors of eternity. The story of Tom Selleck, like all stories, is but a fleeting moment in the eternal dance of creation, a testament to the enduring power of love, beauty, and the human spirit. In this concluding chapter, we transcend the boundaries of linear narrative, stepping into the realm of eternal stories and timeless truths. Chapter 15 is not a resolution, but an invitation, a call to embrace the infinite tapestry of existence, where every thread, every color, contributes to the breathtaking mosaic of creation, beyond endings. As we journey beyond the confines of traditional storytelling, we recognize that endings are merely illusions, artificial constructs that impose order on the chaotic dance of existence. In the boundless expanse of eternity, there are no beginnings or endings, only moments of transition and transformation. Chapter 15 invites us to release our attachment to closure to embrace the ever-unfolding mystery of life with open hearts and open minds. Threads of Connection At the heart of the infinite tapestry lies the concept of connection, 
the eternal dance of souls as they weave their stories together across the vast canvas of time and space. Each thread represents a unique individual, a singular expression of consciousness, yet all are interconnected, all are part of the same divine fabric. In this chapter we celebrate the beauty of diversity and the unity of all existence, recognizing that every soul, every experience, adds richness and depth to the grand tapestry of creation. Embracing Paradox Chapter 15 challenges us to embrace the paradoxes inherent in the human experience, to reconcile the finite with the infinite, the individual with the collective, the ephemeral with the eternal. It asks us to surrender to the mysteries of existence, to revel in the contradictions, knowing that within them lies the essence of our true nature. As we dance between the realms of form and formlessness, we discover the boundless potential of the human spirit to transcend the limitations of time and space. The Dance of Creation In the closing passages of this chapter, we surrender to the rhythm of the cosmic dance, the eternal symphony of creation that echoes through the corridors of infinity. We become participants in this divine play, co-creators of our own destinies, weaving our stories into the ever-expanding tapestry of existence. With each step, each breath, we add our unique melody to the universal chorus, contributing to the ongoing evolution of consciousness in ways beyond our wildest dreams. An ever-unfolding story. As we bid farewell to the finite confines of this narrative, we recognize that our journey is far from over. Chapter 15 is not an ending, but a beginning. A portal to infinite possibilities, where every moment is pregnant with potential, every experience a doorway to higher truths. In the grand tapestry of existence, our story is but a single thread, yet within it lies the power to shape the destiny of the cosmos itself. The Invitation In the spirit of eternal exploration, Chapter 15 extends an invitation to all who dare to embark on the journey of self-discovery, to traverse the uncharted realms of consciousness, to unlock the secrets of the universe, and to dance in the cosmic symphony of creation. It is an invitation to embrace the infinite tapestry of existence with wonder, awe, and boundless love, a reminder that within the depths of our souls lies the key to unlocking the mysteries of eternity. As we bid adieu to the finite constraints of this narrative, let us carry the wisdom of chapter 15 in our hearts, knowing that our journey is just beginning, and that the story of our lives is but a single note in the eternal symphony of existence.